Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. We're going to talk about video games again. We're going to talk about video games again. We're going to talk about Hogwarts Legacy again. And we're going to mention Starfield again. And that might be the last time I mentioned Starfield. Uh, screw that game. <laughs> we're going to talk about Hogwarts Legacy. Apparently, it is outselling brand new games. Uh, this is this is insane. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy, remember how the media was all like, yeah, nobody's playing this game anymore. Well, apparently that's not true. Apparently, uh, a lot of people are still playing this game and it hasn't even come out for Nintendo Switch yet. And I'm really curious how it's going to play on the Switch. I'm not sure how that's going to work. We'll talk about it because Hogwarts Legacy is coming up again. Now, a lot of the same outlets that were against Hogwarts Legacy are now for it because they're using it as a reason why you should play Starfield uh, or something. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this. Uh, but apparently, yeah, people aren't, uh, aren't real happy with it. They aren't real happy with it. <laughs> so before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, go out to clownfishtv.com for more objective pop culture news. Now, before I get into the video talking about Hogwarts Legacy, that's what this video is actually about. I am going to address briefly the Starfield drama. I did put a video up last night, which I have since uh, privated, and some people have asked why. I'm like, well, apparently you don't check the community, because I explained very clearly uh, why I privated the video. There was an article out there um, from some news outlet, I forget which one it was, uh, claiming that uh, as is rant on... Um, this game on Starfield, the pronouns rant, the infamous pronouns rant, uh, claiming that he actually admitted that it was just a stunt. And I was like, well, maybe it is, you know, maybe it is a stunt. I don't know. Um, I mean, I personally, and I'll say it again, I personally, uh, if it doesn't affect gameplay that much, uh, I'm not that upset about it, but I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to be completely honest. I had no interest in this game to begin with. So, and I completely understand that people are uh, angry about pronouns being shoved into the game because that does seem to be a very current year thing. Now, that being said, my understanding about the pronoun, and the reason we have to talk about the pronouns thing is because it does tie into Hogwarts Legacy. My understanding about the pronouns, having not played the game myself, though, uh, admittedly, my understanding about the pronouns is that it comes up at the beginning of the game during the character creation, then it's like never mentioned again, but then they have a trans character later in the game or something. I don't know. Um, you know, so I've heard a lot of things about the game that have nothing to do with pronouns. The game is just not that good. That is, that is what I've heard from uh, a handful of people whose opinions I trust on video games. Uh, just saying, you know, if you look beyond the pronouns thing, it's not that great of a game. But, but the reason I privated that video is this article, uh, mistaking, mistakenly, mistakenly claimed that as said, it was all a bit, it was all for publicity, that the rant wasn't a real thing. He didn't, it's not that he didn't actually feel that way, but it was like way over the top. Um, apparently none of that was true. So I took it down. I took it down and I issued a retraction. I said, Hey, as wrote me and he did write me, we had a conversation and it went well. I thought it went well. Um, and he said, Hey, this isn't, uh, this article is not accurate. It's not factually accurate. I did not, uh, recant uh, in any way, shape, or form. But the reason they're bringing him up is they're trying to use this as a reason why people are asking for a refund on the game. The refunds actually started before as his rant. People were getting early access and they're like, hey, this game isn't very good. Now, whether or not the pronouns had anything to do with that, I don't know. I have no idea. But I just know that there were articles out there a day or two before as his rant um, that people were looking for refunds on this game. So how does this tie into Hogwarts Legacy? Well, Hogwarts Legacy is selling very well again. In this ridiculous article from Clutch Points, uh, talking about like all those people so angry about the pronouns, you get to the very bottom, and they bring up Hogwarts Legacy. Among the many controversies that the game faced, a particular character called Serona Ryan, which was a, a trans character in Hogwarts Legacy, was seen as problematic and boycott-worthy. That's actually not true. What happened is someone who covered this game extensively and actually interviewed the, uh, the lead on the game is that there were people that wanted the entire game boycotted, but they were on the left side of the aisle. 
They were trans activists. They wanted the game to crash and burn because J.K. Rowling was involved in the game. The thing is, she actually wasn't. She does get paid. Of course she does because they're using her IP. But my understanding directly from Troy Levitt, Troy Levitt, by the way, who worked with Avalanche for a number of years, uh, Troy Levitt said that she was not involved in the creation of the game at all. So she was not involved in the game at all. Uh, she's not involved in making the Hershey Kisses now that have Hogwarts or uh, Harry Potter on the bag either. But, uh, you know, people got a boycott. So no, it was actually coming from gaming journos. You were not allowed. And you're trying to make this the same thing. You were not allowed to play this game. You were not allowed to stream this game. They were coming after Hassan Abbey. For God's sake, you know, he wasn't allowed to stream. He wasn't allowed to stream it and give the money to charity. That's what he said he was going to do is give it to like the Trevor Project or something. You are not allowed to talk about this game. You're not allowed to review this game fairly. Uh, if you did, you're a bigot, a horrible person. And anybody who bought this horrible, awful game should be shunned from the gaming industry uh, forever and ever and ever. And now it's selling really, really well again. <laughs> again. Now, maybe it is because of Starfield. But it's interesting they have to bring that up, that there was a trans character in Hogwarts. Now, to the best of my knowledge, nobody's getting threatened for buying Starfield. Um, now, I can't say whether or not people are getting threatened if they're uh, voicing an opinion on the pronoun thing in the game. I'm sure people are getting threatened over that. But to the best of my knowledge, uh, Starfield is not threaten-worthy. It's just not a very good game. That's what I've heard. So let's, let's talk about the issue at hand, which is Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy is outselling brand new games uh, coming from Game Rant. New sales charts show that Hogwarts Legacy selling more units uh, is selling more units than some new games despite the title being over six months old. I thought this game was going to crash and burn and, uh, you know, and uh, the, the companies were going to lose out on all those bigot bucks. Hogwarts Legacy continues to dominate sales charts, surpassing major new releases like Armored Core 6. That surprises the hell out of me. My son was waiting for Armored Core 6 for months. Everybody was talking about Armored Core 6. And it surpassed Armored Core 6. The game has generated a billion in revenue, making it the most successful launch of 2023 so far. Its popularity is expected to continue with the upcoming Switch release. Good luck with that. I don't know how that's going to be. I don't know. But they, pull, they pulled off Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal actually was pretty decent on Switch. Somehow, uh, Hogwarts has managed to top the sales charts once again, being a few major releases along the way, such as Armored Core 6. The course of the year, Hogwarts Legacy has consistently been ranking well on sales charts, and this is just the latest of its many appearances at the top of these lists. Uh, despite competition from many other excellent games that were released in 2023, Hogwarts is still 2023's most successful launch. The title so sold over uh, 50 million and generated a billion dollars in revenue for Avalanche. Even now, these numbers continue to grow. According to UK sales charts, so I think, I think we're talking just UK, but still, that's, that's crazy. Hogwarts Legacy was the most sold game in the UK during the week ending September 2nd. Six-month-old title surpassed Armor Core 6, which released recently. Hogwarts Legacy is not the only game on the list that has been around for a while. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Grand Theft Auto 5 and Minecraft are on there. The critically acclaimed Starfield appears on the list, but in seventh place, while it's technically not out yet, here's the list. Hogwarts Legacy, number one. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is number two. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Tears of the Kingdom, Armored Core 6, new release, Mortal Kombat 11, that makes sense. Starfield Premium Edition Upgrade. Okay. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, Minecraft, and FIFA. God, FIFA. The digital version of Hogwarts Legacy was on sale, okay, with a 30% discount a few days ago. I do know that. I remember getting an email about that, but that wouldn't have helped the game's sales numbers. The UK sales charts consider only physical units sold in the UK to determine its numbers. Okay, so there's a couple little, uh, couple little caveats here, but the fact that the game is still selling this well, this late into the year, and it hasn't even come out on Switch yet, is pretty astounding, Right? Um, they said when you consider digital, the numbers are probably even higher. Hogwarts will likely continue to sell well during the year, especially considering the game has one platform left to be released on the Nintendo Switch, which is like the biggest platform out there, right? We have a lot of, a lot of people have Switches, so they can play Hogwarts on the go. Now, let's see where it's at on uh, Steam. Starfield's number one on Steam. 
obviously. Counter-Strike, Baldur's Gate 3, that makes sense. Steam Deck, Destiny 2. Where is Hogwarts Legacy's number 15? It's number 15 on Steam. But, um, you know, we got some free-to-play, so I'd, I'd knock them out of there. Steam Deck, obviously, that's a system. <laughs> you know why they have a system on there? Uh, Armored Core 6 is new. Yeah, so, I mean, it's pretty impressive. I mean, it really is impressive that it's selling this well, you know? Um, so I, I guarantee you this game is going to get a sequel. Now, whether or not Troy Levitt's going to be involved, I have no idea, you know? But it's really interesting that uh, this boycott wound up being a boycott in a lot of cases. But really, the truth of the matter is, it doesn't matter how you feel about any of these video games, whether it's this one or Starfield, normies don't care. They don't care about the internet drama. Uh, a lot of them just don't care about stuff. If they think something's weird in a game or they think the game is bad or they think it's heavy, heavy handed in the messaging or something like look at, you know, uh, look at what happened with Saints Row. Look at what happened with Saints Row. Like people were like, yeah, this is shit. This isn't this isn't very good. Yeah, this isn't the game we wanted. But for the most part, they don't care. They really don't. If the game is good and it's based on an IP they're familiar with. You're going to have a lot of normies that don't play video games picking up a Hogwarts game, a Harry Potter game, because they love Harry Potter. And a lot of them don't even know what's going on with J.K. Rowling. They don't, they don't keep track of this. They're like, oh, she said some something, something. Yeah, whatever. I like the books. I like the movies. A lot of them watch the movies. They don't even read the books. You know, they have no idea. They go to Universal. They get Butterbeer. They get their wand. They go home and watch the Harry Potter movies. That's that's what they do. And then they play Hogwarts Legacy. So the vast majority of people don't care about the internet drama. And it's, it's going to be the same way with Starfield. I'm going to be honest. I mean, but that game, God, already, I cannot believe all the toxicity, toxicity around that damn game. It's barely out. I mean, it just came out officially today, didn't it? And we got people getting attacked for not liking the start screen. We got people say anything negative about this game and people just lose their shit. It's crazy. I have no interest in buying Starfield. None whatsoever, especially after all the drama. I have no interest whatsoever in buying that game. Um, but I probably will play more Hogwarts Legacy at some point. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. And we'll talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.